we're now looking at the develop module and if you notice I have the left panel and right panel open at the moment you can get into the develop module by clicking on develop up here in the module picker or by going up to the window menu and coming down to develop right there from the window menu now taking a quick look around in the develop module we have one picture displayed in here this is the one that you can either select down from the film strip down below let me just switch over to this picture for instance there we go I'll go back over here to that previous one again so you can choose from the film strip or if you are over in the library module you can choose a picture in the library module like that and then go to the develop module and that will be the picture that is up so several ways of going through and choosing pictures let's go back to this one again kinda like that shot notice across the bottom we have our standard tools here for giving these ratings and we can see what the coloration is and so forth if we're using color we have a couple of options down here for changing our view now on the library module again we could change from grid view to loop view to compare view to the survey view on develop we're just looking at one picture so we can look at either the loop view which is our zoomed view notice I have my little magnifying glass so I can zoom in if I wanted to or we can do a compare view here notice these both say Y which means that they're both the same picture and we can look at before and after left and right or before and after left right split before and after top bottom or before and after top bottom split so we have ways of comparing and to seeing the changes that we're doing and seeing how well those changes are affecting our picture now for instance in this one a left and right split would give me a pretty good comparison because I'd have my full range on the left hand side full range on the right hand side if I did a top and bottom split all my bright colors are at the top, all my dark colors are at the bottom, so that wouldn't be a good split to use. So simply choose the split that works out best for you. On the panels, of course, we have a lot of the same panels. On the left-hand side, as you can see, Navigator, Presets, Snapshots, History, Collections. We'll be looking, of course, at all of these and see how they compare or differ from how they were over in the library module. On the right hand side, a lot of modules as well. Let me just pull the window over a little bit here so you can see that. Histogram, little tool set up here, your standard tools, basic, tone curve, coloration in here, split toning, detail, lens correction effects, camera calibration, and notice that there's a scroll bar here. And again, the little icon down there means nothing, it's just a graphic. And I've already showed you how you can change that if you want to. Now moving this back over again to the left hand side. There we go. On the menus across the top, we have some new menus that just popped up for us. There is a new menu for develop right there, a little specific menu. The photo menu remains. It's a useful menu to work with when you're working on individual pictures in the photo or the develop section. We have a new settings menu up here for adjusting your settings inside of develop. And we have a tools menu which gives you direct tools access now a lot of this stuff of course is also available over here on the tools now as before we can collapse or expand these panels left side right side panel all that can be collapsed or expanded any way you want it's really up to you on how you want to have that work if you have a collapse and you just roll over for a second it will pop up you can then use it and then if you roll off it pops back down again or click on that little arrow right there and it locks it into position. So there we go. Quick look around. As you can see, it's basically the same layout. And as I mentioned previously, the film strip always remains across the bottom. So you always can come down here and find whatever it is that you're looking for by looking at the film strip down below. Or you always so can open up a second window and set that second window to grid view. And you can then use that that way as well. So there we go. That's just a quick look around. Let's now take some time and begin to dig into each of these separate sections here inside of the develop module.